the Fusion Page in DaVinci Resolve can be intimidating at first glance. Today we will attempt to make it less scary by performing a series of transforms and merges within the Fusion Page. In order to multiply the Atmos, FX Pumpkin Trio faces similar to this example. Let's get started. With Resolve open, on the Project panel, right-click and select New Project. Name this whatever you wish. Select the Edit Page icon, located at the bottom. Ensure the Media Pool is open. If you don't see the Media Pool, select this icon here to open it. Let's import the Pumpkin Trio digital decorations by opening their containing folder and dragging them onto the Media Pool. If you see this message about mismatched frame rates, click Change so that the timeline will match the frame rates of your videos. Click and drag one of the videos from the Media Pool onto the timeline. While we could modify this video by itself, there is a better way to do this that will allow us to reuse our fusion effects. For that, we will need the effects menu open. If you don't see the effects menu, select this icon here to open it. With the toolbox selected, open the search bar and search for the adjustment clip. Any changes we make to an adjustment clip will affect the clip below it. Click and drag the adjustment clip onto the timeline above the existing video clip. Zoom into the timeline by using the slider located here. Hover your mouse on the edge of the adjustment clip until you see this icon. Then click and drag it to the right to extend it. Keep extending until the adjustment clip matches the length of the video clip. Open Fusion by selecting this icon here. If this page looks intimidating, don't let it scare you. We will primarily be using the following panes in Fusion. The viewer pane on the right shows the final output of our modifications. The viewer pane on the left is where we can preview the changes we are working on. We can preview any node by selecting it and hitting the number 1 on our keyboard. The nodes pane is where we will be adding our effects to modify the digital decoration. Any effect applied to the yellow connecting line will affect the final output. We can zoom in or out on any of the panes by holding the control key and scrolling the mouse wheel forward or backward. We can also move around within the viewer by holding the middle mouse button down and dragging the mouse. Let's begin our duplication of the pumpkin faces by disconnecting the media node at the beginning and bring that down below. We are going to want three individual faces, so let's copy this node by either selecting it and performing a copy with Ctrl plus C on the keyboard, then Ctrl plus V to paste it. Alternatively you can right click on the node and choose copy from the menu, then right click in the nodes pane and select paste. If your nodes are not snapping onto the grid like mine are, you can enable that by right-clicking in the pane. Then under Arrange Tools, select To Grid. We need to re-establish a starting point for the composition. From the Fusion Toolbar, select the background node, located here, and drag it onto the node's pane. Then connect it to the media out. Now we can work on adding the faces back individually. Using the Fusion Toolbar, select the Ellipse Polygon Mask. Drag that down onto the node's pane next to the first media node. Connect this to the blue arrow. Adjust the mask to fit the middle face by selecting the highlighted border to resize the mask. Then position it by selecting and dragging the icon in the middle. When adjusting, it would be a good idea to find a frame where the mouth is wide open. This way we can make sure we don't make too small of a mask that would cause parts of the decoration to disappear. Next, copy the mask you just modified and paste one for each remaining media node. Connect them to each blue arrow. Select the second media node and preview it by selecting the number 1 on your keyboard. Then select the mask node and move it over to cover a different face for the pumpkin trio. Perform the same steps for the third and final media node. We now have three individual pumpkin faces we can manipulate. Let's start adding them in by selecting the background node, then from the toolbar, select Merge to add the Merge node to the line. Merge nodes allow us to combine different elements together, and are heavily used within fusion compositions. Next we will add a Transform node. We can either select the Media node, then choose Transform from the toolbar, which will add a connected Transform node. Or we can drag a Transform node from the toolbar onto the node's pane, then connect everything together. Connect the transform to the merge, and you can now see the first face added back to the output preview. We can modify this by selecting the transform node, 
Then within the inspector menu, we can change the size of it using this slider. We can also move it by modifying these X and Y coordinates, or we can grab the center and position it wherever we wish. Let's keep this first face in the middle for now, and work on adding the second face back in. Add another merge node to the line. Then add another transform node. Connect the second media node to this chain. Let's make this one smaller and position it in another area to make room for more. To add another similar face, copy and paste this transform node. Connect the media to it. Then add another merge node and connect. Select the new transform node and move this face to another area of the screen. For each face you want to duplicate, you will repeat the same steps. Add a new merge, then transform, then connect and modify. Once this is done we can speed up the addition of the third face by selecting all the merge and transform nodes from the second face, then copying them, and pasting them onto the nodes pane. Disconnect the line going into the media out and attach to the new pasted nodes. Then connect the newly pasted nodes to the media out. Now connect the third media into each transform. Finally select each transform node and move the third face to your desired positions. Let's see how this came out. Well, we are with William, the Adam family. Neat. Not too shabby, right? While it was a lot of work, it gave us a massive advantage for other Pumpkin Trio videos we want to apply this to. If we wanted to apply this to a different Pumpkin Trio video, all we need to do is leave the adjustment clip in place. Remove the previous video by selecting it, then delete with backspace on the keyboard. Bring down the new video onto the timeline underneath the adjustment clip. Expand or reduce the adjustment clip to match the video length. The effect is now applied to the new video without having to make any additional changes. As an additional bonus, this will work with any of the Jack-O-Lantern Jamboree sets provided by Atmos FX because they are so similar to each other already. If you have a strong enough computer, you could also combine multiple clips onto the timeline and expand the adjustment clip to cover all of them. The Monster Mash from my laboratory in the car. If you have a lower powered system, it might be best to modify one clip at a time. Now all that's left is to render your video out in your desired format. Of course, where the placement of these effects will go is entirely up to you and based on your setup. In a future video we will cover some very basic projection mapping techniques to help you line these up correctly. I hope you found this helpful and that you have a lot of success with this. If you want to continue to receive additional tips on modifying your digital decorations with Resolve, be sure to subscribe to this channel.